I have uh, no slides, just code. Um, one of the things I'm assuming everybody here probably knows what GWT is. Um, the big thing about the GWT team is they have a very specific focus. They work uh, directly on a Java to JavaScript compiler, and then they have some other stuff that's built on top of that. But really, their core is making sure that compiler is as tight as possible. Um, for the purposes of our development, Charlie and I have worked on this over the last <coughs> year and a half or so. Um, we needed a little bit more than you got from GWT. It basically gives you the same sort of software development models you have with regular AJAX applications only in Java instead of JavaScript. We started Gwitter, which is a sort of a bastardization of a glitter, if you're okay with that. Um, it's basically a Java beans light for GWT. We <laughs> built our own reflection system and introspection system that gives you bean properties that are designated um, at build time. So to start with, I have a photo object. I specifically say it implements bindable. Bindable is an interface that uh, extends introspectable, which just tells the compiler to build the reflection data at compile time into your application. And uh, sources property change events, which basically just says has property change listener support on it. Uh, the next thing I did here is I built a little service servlet. Um, I take a array of array of tags. I go to Flickr. I'm using Roam here to uh, extract the media RSS module, and then I'm turning the thumbnail and the standard size image off the Flickr thing into my photo object. I return that through my GWT service, which is a remote service. You can also do this with JSONP off Flickr, but you don't get to do this fancy search stuff. Um, then I have a Flickr search beam. This is real simple. I create an instance of my service. I have a callback. I take the tags and a list of photo objects. And basically, when you uh, give me a new list of tags, I go back and asynchronously call the service, update the photos. So go to the entry point here. Um, I start off building my UI. I've just got a label and a text box here to capture um, the, uh, the tags that you want to search for. Um, I put those into a horizontal panel, and then I'll start. This is stuff that is Gwitter specific. The reflected image group is basically just a grid of images with reflections on it. You can see CSS it and some other stuff. You'll see that in a bit. The soft scroll area is a uh, just a position scroll area. Um, it has this little utility thing, mouse move scroll listener, which uh, does a relative sinusoidal animation as you move your mouse across the area to scroll to position. Then I have an image for my larger image. Uh, now, move down here, you see one of our sort of idioms in Gwitter. Um, everything supports a renderer. One of the things I don't like about most uh, widget toolkits is they assume that you're going to work with the widget toolkits model. The Gwitter wi uh, widgets will take your regular model, and then you can provide them with a renderer here to uh, turn them into whatever they need to be for the object. So when you go through and bind, it makes a lot more sense mapping to your domain model. <laughs> um, here I'm taking the reflected image group, I'm pulling the thumbnail image off, that's a 75 by 75 inch from Flickr. For the larger, I'm pulling off the standard image. Then I go through, I create my Flickr search bean, I bind the reflected image group's value, uh, prop value property, which is a list, to my Flickr search bean's photos list property. Um, then I can go through here, and this is another function that you can do with the binding, is to set up converters. So what I do here is when I create the binding for my text box value property to my <coughs> search beans tags property, I'm going through and I'm, I'm do performing a split to break the uh, value out of the text box into an array of strings. On the back side, I'm just cycling through and concatenating, concatenating them back together. I uh, get down here, I'm, then I'm uh, adding a, an animator. This is another thing you can do. This looks fairly <coughs> standard. looks a lot like the uh, swing X stuff. I go through, uh, I'm adding a property change listener to just set my larger image to transparent when uh, you select it. And then for I add a load listener to the larger image to fire my animation for 500 milliseconds using a cubic transform from transparent to opaque. I bind that, and that's my application. Um, and then you can see the results here. This is the, uh, the move around with base flicker. Um, we'll see how the network works. Try and get a photo. Maybe. <laughs> uh, come on. I can, there it goes. 
that I can put in a, a common delimited list of tags, and you see the half-second animation as it comes in. Nice. Nice.